Hello, and thanks for joining me for the Bismarck Weather Education Center's video on La Nina and North Dakota. If you like, you can read an official definition of La Nina. However, remember these key things. It is an interaction between the ocean and atmosphere caused by colder than normal water in the east central equatorial Pacific. For more on this process and the greater El Nino Southern Oscillation, check out our video on ENSO on the Bismarck Weather Education Center's YouTube page. Yada yada yada, what does La Nina mean for us in North Dakota? More blizzards? More heat? Flooding? Well, let's take a look at what La Nina means for a North Dakota winter. During a normal or non-La Nina winter, the polar jet stream's typical location is over the northern and central U.S. During a La Nina winter, the average location of the polar jet ships further south, which in turn brings colder air out of Canada and the Arctic into the U.S. This typically makes for a colder than normal winter across North Dakota. So how much colder? About 3 degrees colder than normal when averaged over all of winter. Sure, 3 degrees does not sound all that bad, but don't think of it as 3 degrees colder on a daily basis. Let's go back to the map. Remember the typical polar jet stream location during La Nina? This is only the average location over winter. The polar jet is constantly moving north and south and changing shape, whether it is a La Nina year or not. However, during a La Nina winter, the polar jet dives south into the northern and central United States more often. So it does not mean 2 or 3 degrees each day, but instead this means more cold air outbreaks in the U.S. and potentially over North Dakota, meaning more days where the temperatures are well below zero. While La Nina mainly influences winter temperatures, this pattern typically lingers into the spring and leads to a colder than normal spring as well. So you probably noticed that we did not go over La Nina's influence on rain or snow in the winter and spring. The reason for that is because La Nina does not play a big role in how much precipitation North Dakota receives. Rain and snow across the state from season to season is highly variable, whether it is a La Nina year or not. The same goes for summer and fall. La Nina plays little to no role in our weather pattern during the summer and fall months. For North Dakota, La Nina's main influence is felt over the winter into spring. Thanks for listening, and I hope this video taught you a little more about what La Nina means for North Dakota. For more on La Nina, you can check out NOAA's official La Nina homepage. And for more on weather education and what we do here at the Bismarck National Weather Service office, stay tuned to our homepage and social media sites for more videos from the Bismarck Weather Education Center.